so welcome welcome back to my channel um today what i wanted to talk about was uh self-care i was talking about this with some co-workers and like we were you know kind of joking around like when people think of self-care it's usually you know it's like out on social media that it's like you know face masks or like bath tubs with like candles and like flowers or like you know getting your nails pedicure like all that stuff but i mean those are nice things to take care of and like you know self-care but i think that's not like the only things like that you can do so i was gonna go through a list of things that i've been doing to you know provide me some sort of comfort or self-care um i mean the pandemic is still going on and you know everyone has different situations that they're in you know some people maybe have like apartments or maybe people only rent in rooms or maybe people are like you know got big houses or like you know more space so you know depending on your like situation like you make your self-care you know so yeah i'm just gonna get into the video and uh, these are the things that have been working for me during the pandemic um and things that i also like like to do like just in general like not in a pandemic um but yeah i just wanted to share i think during the pandemic like this i've been doing this a lot more lately is actually coloring um i personally love coloring with coloring pencils um crayons are cool <laughs> um and but for me i just personally like coloring pencils coloring pencils yeah um because i don't know i just like the feel of a pencil better when it's coloring I, when, like when i'm writing i like a pen but for coloring yeah just the color pencils work nice for me and so like at the beginning of the pandemic i bought like i don't know like too many like coloring books and i'm like still working on one um but it just provides me some sort of comfort like i'm not thinking about anything like literally i'm just so focused on like i like to color in the lines and like you know do that like dark outline on it and like make it lighter in the middle uh, so i'm just so focused on coloring like i'm not thinking about anything i'm not thinking about my bills not thinking about work not thinking about like things i need to do i'm just like really in the moment so um i'm not like i don't do that every single day but definitely like whenever i'm feeling like i just don't want to like think about anything like i pull out like my box of coloring pencils like a big you know box and um like a coloring book and i just like color it in or definitely will do that every now and then and especially when I'm in like work meetings and it's like a lot of like um, heavy information I'm receiving or maybe if I'm in like a webinar training something for work or something like I'll pull it out and I'll be like listening and just coloring at the same time and that works for me. So uh, the next thing that like provides me comfort um, is actually, talk I mean, this is easy to do, talking to friends. So um, I personally have not been like physically going out and like meeting up my friends a lot. I know some people are doing that, but I'm just not like that's just not me right now yet um I just been a lot of like FaceTime or like video chatting my friends um multiple friends at once um talking to friends on the phone um like texting is cool like but I personally like I I don't really like texting that much like unless I need to like relay some info or like we're gonna meet up but like on a regular I cannot be texting someone like all day like I need to like you know have some like either a phone call conversation or like which i prefer is like video like seeing my friends through video really connecting with my friends um and that doesn't have to like you know you can talk to your friends like through like i think like snapchat you can do that like instagram what's up like you know you can use all these other um platforms for like connecting with your friends and, and even family as well you know it's nice um like i use I mean, you can use all of them, but like I love using what's up to connect, keep connected with my family that's in different parts of the world. Um, and like that's is in a time when like, you know, obviously people aren't doing things like they used to, like before people were like, you know, restaurants are different, like like space, like different, like touristy spaces are different, you know, and it's just right. Things are different right now. So like for me, like keeping connected with my friends has always been like something really important to me but even like more now because i'm not having like those interactions with like going out to eat getting dessert or like going to some like you know thing you know then i really value like seeing my friends um through like you know some type of video or phone call <laughs> another thing that i've been doing that i like oh i just love this like works in all like things is um actually reading um and audible so i 
love audible audible like so handy um when i was like catching the train or like catching the bus or like just like on the move a lot in the city like definitely and i'm just like walking i could definitely like always have my like head like airpods in and just be listening to a book um i think it's great because you can do this and like if you're like cleaning like cleaning the kitchen cleaning the house like even if you're like in the bathroom showering you could have a book on uh, you know and i just think it's such a great resource i'm like so happy that i have it um and it just it's just so handy like i really like really appreciate it. i mean i do love podcasts you can you know listen to podcasts too like those are great like books podcasts like audible like listening to books i think has really helped me because it's nice to have like some quiet time but like there's also times when it's just like oh, it was just too quiet like i need to like listen to something aside of music like i love listening to music but like sometimes i can just be like tired of it and i just want some some other source of i guess like entertainment inspiration um so audible like comes in handy like podcasts like are really handy when i'm like on the move or i'm doing something because sometimes like reading a book i really have to like you know set aside time to like read it like sit down and like really focus on like a chapter or how much ever i want to read and sometimes i could get like distracted or like things pop up and sometimes reading a book like a physical book you know might be a little bit more challenging for me i still definitely love like the whole like flipping the pages and like touching a book and like the smell of books um i still love that but i like i feel like i'm leaning more towards like um listening like audio versions of like and i guess entertainment right so that's something else that i've been doing um definitely enjoy it love it something else that i've been doing and i actually for like a while i've been doing this but to like keep myself like provide some comfort self-care for myself is you know staying connected to my like church and my church people group you know um before i used to go in person right but now because of the pandemic and like all these like different regulations then like the what i've like how i've been staying connected is a lot of it's like through zoom so i mean that's like my job too is through zoom but like you know even like how i'm connected to like do like maybe like bible studies or like church gatherings is through zoom and like having that connection um with my church has like really helped me like really keep me grounded and really keep me like spiritually <laughs> in check um so that's something uh, i've been doing i've been doing this for years um connected to a church and it's like a big part of my life too oh okay <laughs> i got a little list that i'm like looking at so another thing that i always do <laughs> is i and i think i've said this before too but i love my desserts i love my sweets when i was in new york definitely so many different dessert spots i was seeing all the time go i've had to my my go-to's but because i'm like kind of staying still i'm not really going like i'm just going either grocery store maybe target like just like specific places i'm not like roaming around so i don't really get that experience anymore but i still like love my sweets so um definitely like if i go to the grocery store um or like i'm in a shopping center and i see like you know like a baker or something like i did like that's for me is self-care is like i need to have my sweets i had some can i give it up i don't know but definitely like ice cream is my go-to so whenever i'm at like the grocery store like i definitely will like splurge on like those ben and jerry's or like i think it's like a pint and it's like almost six dollars but i love it i'll spend the money on <laughs> some ben and jerry's or even those like expensive like mag the magnum bars i think they're called and it's like you only get six four maybe so for me like a form of self-care is like get getting my treats getting my sweets um and uh i definitely miss that like walking around the city and like having the opportunity to like try different things um but since i'm temporarily not in new york then i'm just like going to places that i already know because i'm driving so it's not like i'm like walking and seeing so many like just what i know is where i'm going to but definitely my self-care is like i need my sweets i need my ice cream yeah i need it <laughs> another thing that i've been doing for self-care is um just going on walks uh i think i do like walking more than running but since i'm here with um my family's dog coda follow him on ig um 
then yeah i've been taking him on walks sometimes i walk by myself so i definitely do appreciate that of like being out like in the suburbs area is that like i see a lot of greenery you know i see some lakes um just like a lot of like natural like nature um which in the city like i might not get that opportunity to have to go to like a really big park to like kind of have like a little bit of um like some sense of like separation from people so i do appreciate that like is going on like long walks like i really like enjoy like an hour or two walk like it's just nice and like the wind is blowing and like this get a little tan as i'm walking um but that's been helping me um i can feel like just like the sense of like freeness and just like being one with nature definitely has provided me like a lot of comfort um and just you know taking care of myself the last thing um i guess that i i mean i always do this but definitely like provides like provides me some sense of like um just like tranquility is cleaning like tidying up like i tidy up in the morning i tidy up at night i like it's part of my routine like i always have to do this like in the morning like making my bed and just like kind of organizing things like i cannot have like my like vanity area like i can't have that like mess all day and i can't just like leave papers and like clothes like on the floor like it needs to be very clean so these are the things that um i've been doing to provide me like self-care these are my like routines my habits um of course yeah like doing like a face mask and like you know a manicure and all that stuff is nice but i don't think those are like the like the only things that we should be like take note of like there's like many uh, people you know everyone has their own self-care habits and I just wanted to share mine um, and yeah so hopefully I just you know this video is useful you know provides people with ideas if anyone has like you know similar things they do or different things they do for self-care you know feel free to share that um, but uh, yeah thank you for watching and um, yeah <laughs> bye